You're tuned in to the Tech Vet. In today's episode, I'm breaking down the end of the writer's strike and how tech and AI caused the whole thing to begin with. Let's dig in. All right, so let's jump right into this article from The Verge. The new WGA contract will change how Hollywood works. Historic raises and guarantees on AI use will have major ramifications in Hollywood, but the new transparency and streaming data means Netflix and Disney Plus will have to change how they work. So after five months, the strike is finally over. But what the article talks about, um, there were two main items that had to be negotiated between WGA and big Hollywood, right? The studios and execs, et cetera, et cetera. And those two items were data transparency and protection against AI. So let's jump into the data portion of it. See, one of the main things that actually sparked the strike was streamers like Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime. They weren't being transparent with that data. So uh, let's say you had a very popular show like The Marvelous Miss Mabel. I like that show. It's a good show. But anyway, let's say that show did extremely well. Well, the writers were getting paid as if those shows just performed regular, right? <laughs> and that started raising a lot of questions. And when the WGA started asking the streamers, Netflix, Disney Plus, you know, the, the whole streaming gang, right? What was up with these numbers? Netflix and the rest of the crew, they wouldn't budge, right? Uh, they wouldn't be transparent with the data. They wouldn't show exactly what was going on to, to explain why the writers were getting paid what they were being paid in. That's what caused the strike, right? That was one of the items, right? Based on that article, they've reached a deal to where now those streamers, they have to share that information. They can no longer hide that information. So pay me what you owe me is what the WGA worked out for their writers. If, if, a, if a show does well, streams well, a movie, anything that the writers write they need to get paid accordingly and that's one of the things that both sides of this whole miscommunication if you will agreed on right moving on to the ai protections and here are some of the protections that are going into place ai will not be able to write or rewrite literary material and ai generated material will not be able to be used as source material so an exec won't be able to ask chat gbt to come up with the story and ask writers to turn it into a script that the exec owns the rights to. So let's translate this into simple terms. So what that means is an exec, they can't use ChatGPT to come up with the, uh, the foundations of say a movie or a show and then give it to the, the screenwriters, say, hey, go write this, turn it into something. And then the exec takes all the credit for it. That's not allowed. So that's one of the protections. Another way this protects writers is execs won't be able to take a book, right? Put it in a chat GPT and then tell chat GPT to write a movie or a TV series around that, right? Because a lot of books do get turned into movies and TV shows. This will still protect the writers and make it to where studios will still have to give a book to writers and tell them, hey, turn this into a movie or a TV show, right? So that actually protects the writers a lot. I mean, these new AI constraints, you know, they protect the writers from becoming irrelevant and it protects their livelihoods, right? Because um, it, it, if you get a whole sector of individuals that start losing their jobs, that, that's no good for the overall economy, right? So here's the thing, tech and AI, they're disrupting everything. And the entertainment industry is no exception. Now, part of this fight was over data. When it comes to data, our lives, relying on data right and, and the proof is in the pudding because we're all addicted to these cell phones <laughs> and i'm guilty of it too but data is that big right to where it was one of the main items that they negotiated for as far as let us see that data show me that data that you're working with so i know what i'm supposed to get paid as a writer right now on the ai side of things right i think what, what the WGA was, was able to do was kind of buy their writers some time because I made a prediction in an earlier video that those that resist AI and don't learn how to leverage it into their day-to-day -day work will get left behind. And I think that's a 
that's we we saw a lot some of this happening right these writers were getting uh, scared that they were going to get left behind and basically become irrelevant and no longer needed to where the studios can write these movies without them they can just use the ai right so wga bought their writers some time but i think just like in all the other industries it's inevitable that ai will have to be incorporated just to uh augment work right it, it helps everything move faster and I, I don't think ai will actually diminish any level of creativity it, it helps speeds up the process but at the end of the day the humans are the ones coming with the creativity right so i think in the long run i don't think that the writers have anything to worry about as far as ai taking their jobs but i also would say that it's a good idea for the writers to learn how to leverage ai and just help help them produce more produce faster huh overall i think tech and ai is forcing hollywood to pivot just like the music industry had to pivot when music streams uh replaced the purchase of physical cds right because you know back in the day when when artists were selling millions of cds for 10 12 13 dollars a pop um there was a lot more money being generated with that and things are changing now in hollywood to where people aren't buying physical copies of movies anymore they're not even going to the movie theaters as much as we used to <laughs> right um so i think the money is different and i think all sides of of the field in hollywood are trying to just figure out how to adjust and and still be able to give us that creativity that we all enjoy right because i like my entertainment too but also be able to make a fair wage because the execs they still need to be able to make their living so do the writers right so uh how, how do we get around this whole tech revolution which is being televised by the way and i actually think we only know about this because of just the nature of entertainment and what they stand for right so because this is this disruption is happening in every single industry best believe we we just saw this one right because it's entertainment so let me know what y'all think uh in the comments below uh what do y'all think about this whole push for data transparency uh in hollywood letting the writers know what they should be making what that money's supposed to look like and then let me know what y'all think about writers using ai you think it's a good idea bad idea indifferent i think it's a good thing <laughs> right but I don't think this is over. This is just the beginning of this whole tech and AI disruption. We saw it in entertainment. I, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more to come in a bunch of other sectors. But anyway, again, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all got any value from this video, go ahead, leave some comments, share, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll check in with y'all later.